G'day, g'day. Long time no making video. Um, today, I am working on repairing a Nintendo 64. Problem is the, the actual power supply has given up. So, I've been doing a little bit of probing with my multimeter. Um, I've removed this connector here from the power supply. Now, th that's the connector that goes into the back of the Nintendo, but couldn't work out the connection. So what I've done, if I just put that down there, okay, focus, there we go. So basically what we've got on the board, if you split all this out, you've got this one here, that's the 12 volt, you've got these two here, they're ground, you've got these two here, they're 3.3 volt. Uh, what I'm going to use to power this up is a PC power supply. Uh, this is the SATA connection uh, on most ATX power supplies. They usually have all the cables there, including the orange one. The orange one's the important one. That's our 3.3 volt. We need that because it's got 2.5 amps or something worth of load that needs to live off of it. So... Basically, out of all this, I've gotten rid of the red because that's the 5 volt. We don't need him. All we need is that one there, which is 3.3, ground, and the yellow one is 12 volt. So what I'm going to do is attach that to those connectors there. And then I'm going to mount it into the power supply with well, the, the power supply block um, using this second ATX uh, SATA connector. Um, just as a strain relief so it can't be pulled out and she should be all sweet. Alright, I'm going to do that now and I'll be back when it's done. And there you go. So basically that's the uh, formula for it. Uh, this is double walled um, heat shrink tube. It's really good for uh, electrical connections. Um, it's thick and it's got like a hot glue in it so when you melt it down it sticks and it doesn't come out. So it's pretty nifty. Um, Always a good idea to use heat shrink tube uh, for this sort of stuff because if something was to pull on it, you don't want it shorting out. Even though the power supply will have shutdown protection, for a brief moment you might have 12 volt going on to 3.3 and it's all over. The machine's dead. So, yeah. 